Hi, Betty. What are you doing? I'm on my way to meet a new friend. He wants to meet me in the park. Oh, where did you meet this friend? I met him on the computer. He only started talking to me today. You mean you've never met this person? That's right. No! Uh, what's up with you? Betty, you can't meet this friend. Why not? They seem nice, and he said he would bring his cute dog. I just love animals. Well, they might seem nice when they talk to you online, but in real life, they could be really scary and try to hurt you or make you feel uncomfortable. This person is basically a stranger, and he's bringing his dog, you said? Well, that could be a trick. Bad strangers might want to trick people by offering them candy or showing them an animal. They might lie and say they will offer you money. You never know. Oh, wow. I guess I never thought about that. Does your mom even know about this? No, she doesn't. Betty, you should always tell a grown-up that you trust about people you talk to on the internet. And let a grown-up know where you're going. That's a smart idea. Okay, but what if he really was a nice person? I don't want to be rude. Oh, Betty, you never have to worry about being rude when it comes to strangers. You don't have to be nice or polite. In fact, you don't have to speak to them. We live in a free country. You can even run away from them and scream in their face like this. Ah! Scream? Yeah, like if a stranger tried to touch you, you should definitely scream, hit, and run away as fast as you can. Right. Well, I guess I'll tell my mom about this person I've been talking to and stay at home. Do you want to play a game? Sure. That's right. We should always use caution when we talk to people on the internet. People might be trying to use pictures in order for you to think that they're someone different. Remember, never meet someone on the internet alone. Tell a grown-up that you trust about it. But now here's a question. What would a stranger do in real life to you? Hmm? What could you do? Well, let's watch this situation and see what Freddie did when he was approached by a stranger. La 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 la. Hey there, little man. Nice weather we're having. See, what's your name? Okay, pause. Freddie doesn't even know this person. Why would he want to talk to this weirdo? If a stranger comes to talk to you, you don't know if they have good or bad intentions. They might try to hurt you. Let's see what Freddie did. Don't talk to me. Wow, Freddie is a genius. What a great response. Freddie could have also said nothing at all and ran away. Wait, what's this? The stranger is still trying to talk to Freddie? Well, it's okay. Just want to be your friend. Come a little closer. I'll give you some yummy candy. Get away, you creep! Ah! Ah, yes! Perfect! If a stranger ever tries to come near you or grab you or touch you, remember, scream! Ah! Ah! And run away! You can even hit them! If they grab you. So what happens now? That's when I come in. After a situation like that happens, you must find an adult you trust and tell them what happened. You can even call the police by dialing 911. We are here to help you. Now if you excuse me, I need to make an arrest. Hey, you quit! It's the fuzz! Ah. Put your hands behind your back! Now! Let me go! I didn't do anything! Yeah, right! Tell it to the judge! You're coming with me! Let's practice our screaming, boys! Ah! 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 Hmm... What else could we say if a stranger's trying to touch us? Stop! Get out of the way! Don't touch me, creep! A lot of people think that police officers are scary because we have to wear these uniforms and wear armor. But it is our job to protect people in danger and to prevent situations that we just saw from happening. You don't need to be scared of police officers because we're always going to be there to protect you.